lot of work. Yeah. Uh, not ahead of time. We couldn't have been inside because. So I want to talk about story. Oh, okay, yo. Let's talk about. So stories are part of our DNA. We love to tell stories, whether it's novels, a short story, flash fiction, poems, theater. We love to sit around the campfires and tell each other stories. Stories entertain us, they educate us, they teach us. They help keep us grounded in a world full of uncertainty and chaos. Stories make us laugh, they make us cry, they help us to question our assumptions, they help us to dream of better futures. Stories give us hope for a better tomorrow. Now the main thing is this is not a throwing message, it's a letter opener. <laughs> so right now I'm at Worldcon, which is the epicenter of storytelling. It's a convention where once a year, tens of thousands of people gather from all around the world for a chance to gather together in one place, clasp hands, and tell each other stories. So this year, Worldcon is in Helsinki, Finland, but the site moves every year. In another year, it might be near you. So watch for it, attend, participate, listen, contribute. Have you read or listened to or watched a good story? Let me know. I'd love to hear about it. Making a sharp point from class to start stop. It's not really that much of an it, but... Have you got a story to tell? Consider writing or recording your own words. A small triangle, and so it's easier to get a sharp point. We are at a wonderful point in human history where with a combination of human ingenuity and technology, any person anywhere around the world can write their story and have it read by anyone else anywhere in the world with no intermediaries, no gateways, and no roadblocks. If you want to read, read. If you want to write, write. But it's weird, it's arduous. Yeah, it's a bit arduous though. And let us all rejoice in the power of the story. Now the main thing, this is not a throwing message, no, it's a letter opener. <laughs> <laughs> that can be used.